Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, we're going to continue on with our Among Us clone, only we're going to begin working on the multiplayer. Now, I know I said that I would look into using Mirror for our multiplayer system, but from the comments on our previous videos, I've decided that there's still about an even split for those of you that want me to use Mirror and those of you that still want me to use Photon. And at this point in time, I feel like I'm still not familiar enough with Mirror in order to give you a solid tutorial series on that plugin. And so for our Among Us project, I'm still going to use the Photon Pun 2 plugin in order to create our multiplayer system. But don't worry because in the future, I'd still like to do a dedicated tutorial series on how to use Mirror to create multiplayer games. Now the last thing that I need to mention before we get started on today's lesson is that all of these videos that are going to be on how to create the multiplayer of Among Us will be kept within a separate playlist from our lessons on how to create the basic game. And it's important to note that the project within these lessons is not going to perfectly line up with where we are currently at in the playlist for creating the basic game. But that's okay because in this series we're only going to take it one game mechanic at a time. And so you want to make sure that you have that game mechanic from our basic tutorial series. And then you really only need to pay attention to the changes that we make in order to make that game mechanic networked. Now in this lesson we're going to show you how to set up your project with the Photon Pun 2 plugin as well as how to implement a basic quick start matchmaking system. Now to implement multiplayer into our Among Us project, the first thing that we need to do is import the Photon Pun 2 plugin. To do this, we'll want to open up our browser and go to the Unity Asset Store, after which we'll search for Photon Pun 2. This will bring up two options, and we're just going to use the free version. Now for me, I've already added this plugin to my package manager in Unity, and so this button says Open in Unity. But if this is your first time using the Photon plugin, it'll say Add to My Assets. If you click this button, it'll bring up an option that says Open in Unity. Once you add the Photon Pun 2 plugin to your assets, you can then go back to Unity and select your Package Manager window. You can open this window by going to the Windows drop down menu and selecting Package Manager. Once you have this window open, we want to change the Packages drop down menu to My Assets, and then you can search Photon PUN and we'll select PUN2 free. Then down in the bottom right corner we have import. If this button says update, go ahead and update the plugin and then import it. Once it's finished loading, you'll see an import window with a bunch of new assets. And to make things easy, I'm just going to leave everything selected and click import. And this part might take a while. Once it's finished importing, we'll need to connect our project to our Photon account. And so go back to your browser and go to www.photonengine.com. Here you'll need to sign up for a new account if you don't already have one, or log into an existing account. After which we'll go to our dashboard and select your applications. If you're new to Photon, you'll need to create a new app by clicking the Create New App button. You'll then need to select a Photon type, which we're using Photon Pun. You can give your application a name, a description, and you can add a URL. But I'm just going to use my already existing Photon Tutorial app. So you'll want to select the app ID, then copy it, and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, use the Window drop-down menu to go to Photon Unity Networking and select Pun Wizard. This will bring up a new window after which you can click Setup Project and we'll paste in our app ID. Then click Setup Project. We can then close this window. Now in this part of the tutorial, we're going to skip ahead and do a lot of the matchmaking setup by importing our InfoGamer Quick Start Matchmaking add-on. This can be found on our website by going to www.infogamerhub.com store and it's located right here and you can get this package for just four dollars. This package does a lot of the redundant setup for Photon and comes with four different matchmaking systems. But if you don't feel like spending money it's okay because we have an entire tutorial series on how to create this package. And that series can be found on our website by going to tutorials, Photon, and matchmaking. Now once you have the Quick Start Unity package downloaded from our website, we can go to the Assets drop-down menu, then Import Package, Custom Package. You'll then want to find where you've saved our Quick Start package and open it up. This will bring up another import window, after which you can just click Import. 
Now when I imported this package, it brought up the pun wizard window again, and it's asking me to re-enter my app ID. And so I'm just going to paste it in again and click set up project. Now the next thing that we need to do to set up our project is go to the prefabs folder under general in our project window and select the game setup prefab and drag it into our game scene. Now the last thing that we need to do for this lesson is set up the build order for our scenes. So I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, and in our Scenes and Build window, I'm going to toggle off our waiting room for now. I'm then going to go to the Scenes folder under Quick Start in our Project window and drag the Quick Start scene so that it's index 0 in our build order. And now what we can do is load into our Quick Start scene. Inside the scene, since we're using the new input system, we need to update the event system. And so we need to expand this Photon Quick Start prefab and select the Event System Game Object, and then click the Replace with Input System UI Input Module. And now we can test out our project. And so if everything is connected and set up properly, our play now button should become active and you should get a message in the console that says we are now connected to the whatever server but we can click our play now button and this will load us into our game scene you'll then notice that we have a capsule object in our scene but this is good it means that it's all working properly and that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to set up our project with the photon pun 2 plugin for our next lesson we'll go over how to instantiate our player's avatar across the network now if you like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos